Well, what a pleasure to be able to bring communion on Easter Sunday. I just want to share before I start communion that um, an old pastor used to say, you know, your spiritual imagination. So my spiritual imagination was working while I was driving to church this morning. And as most of you know, we went through that Christmas tornado and a lot of those big, glorious gum trees were just stripped bare. Limbs had gone, not a leaf left on them, and I thought, how are these things going to survive? But, you know, now they've all got new growth. They're standing up and they look magnificent and they look like they're glorifying God. And I was thinking, you know, there's some of some of us that, well, some people out there, I would say, or I hope this is for you, that you felt like you've been stripped bare of everything in your life mm. and you think, how am I ever going to get back on my feet? Where am I at? What am I doing? So I'm just encouraging you to press into Jesus, to rely on his Holy Spirit who was given as a comforter. But Jesus said, I will send the Holy Spirit because he will do greater things than I. Mm -hmm. So just press in. New growth is coming. Good. You know, you're not going to stay where you're at if you press into Jesus and rely on the Holy Spirit to comfort you, to guide you, to lead you. New growth is coming and you'll be standing in your glory soon right. with Jesus. That's right. so, so thank you, Lord. Today is Resurrection Sunday. Mm. So we celebrate the birth, life, death of Jesus and, of course, his resurrection. In Matthew, it says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. But when he had considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. Most of you will know these words. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Did you know that your baby boy would save your sons and daughters? Did you know your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? That your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kissed your little baby, you kissed the face of God. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again, the lame will leap, the dumb will speak the praises of the Lamb. Mm. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is the Lord of all creation? Mm. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect Lamb? This sleeping child you are holding is the great I Am. Now, John the Baptist was baptising the people, telling them to make way for the coming of the Lord. When he saw Jesus coming to him, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he on behalf of whom I've been speaking. After me comes a man who is a higher rank than I, for he existed before me. And we know that Jesus had told his disciples, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Christians last Sunday started um, celebrating Palm Sunday, the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and they were throwing palm leaves and their cloaks before him. They were his followers and disciples that had gone to celebrate um, brain fade, had gone to cel celebrate the Passover in Jerusalem. Sorry, guys. His followers shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the highest heaven. On Sunday, he came as a king. On Monday, he washed the temple clean. On Tuesday, he told what will be. 
On Wednesday, he waited patiently. On Thursday, he said, it is time. I'll drink this cup because it is mine. On Friday, Friday, Lord, you poured the wine. With his disciples in the upper room, where they were preparing the Passover, Jesus took the bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which will be given for you. Do this in memory of me. And likewise, the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which will be shed for you. Shortly he was taken a prisoner and gave his life for us, for it was the joy that was set before him, enduring the cross, scorning the shame, to redeem the human race for no other reason than love. So let us take our emblems and let us give thanks. So just as we're taking our emblems, just take a moment to just praise him and give thanks for what he's done. Um. He came to bring peace between heaven and mankind and his resurrection that we celebrate today on this Easter Sunday put death to sin once and for all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish. Amen. Amen.